Hello everyone, welcome to WhatsApp Central for UPSC examination. In today's video, we are going to analyze the botany questions which are asked in the UPSC preliminary examination of 2019. That is, there are many questions which are relating with the botany subject which has been asked in UPSC preliminary examination. And in this particular video, we are going to find the answers of all these questions. Alright, so let's get started. Now let's consider this question which is a part of your 2019 UPSC preliminary examination question paper that which one of the following groups of the plants domesticated in the new world and introduced into the old world that is you have to identify the plants from the following options that are domesticated in the new world and later they are introduced into the old world. Now in order to get the answer of this question first you should know what is meant by the new world and what is meant by the old world. In historical sense, the new world is considered as the American continent. You can observe in this particular picture, which is the western part of the world, which is newly discovered. This part of the world is called as the new world, while the old world consists of the Africa continents, then Europe and Asian continent. So, the old world is made up of the Africa, Europe and Asian continents, while the term new world is used for the Western continents, that is in particular the American continents. All right. So in this question, you have to find that such a plants which are domesticated in this new world and later these plants are introduced into the old world. Now it has four options. The very first is tobacco, cocoa and rubber. Second, to tobacco, cotton and rubber. The third option is cotton, coffee and sugarcane. And the fourth one is rubber, coffee and wheat. Now, out of these four options, the very first option that is the tobacco plant, you can observe in this picture this tobacco plant, then rubber plant and cocoa plant, all these three plants were domesticated in the new world. That is, the tobacco plant, cocoa plant and rubber plants all belong to the new world. They domesticated there and they later introduced into the old world. So, the option number one that is the tobacco, cocoa and rubber is the right answer for this question. All right. Now the next question which is relating with the botany is that recently there was a growing awareness in our country about the importance of the Himalayan nettle that is Girardiana diversifolia because, of, because it is found to be the sustainable source of what. So you should know something about this Girardiana diversifolia plant because this plant particularly found in the Himalayan region and also commonly called as the Himalayan nettle. Now this plant is quite in the news since the last year because it is an sustainable source for the textile fibers. It is not used as an anti-malarial drug. It is also not useful for the biodiesel. Plus, this plant finds no application in the pulp and paper industry, but the plant is a source for the textile fibers. So, the option number D is the correct option for this particular question. All right. Now, the next question we have here, why is there a great concern about the micro beads that are released into the environment? Now this term microbeads is recently in the news for, because environmentally these microbeads are very harmful. Options that they are considered as a harmful for the marine ecosystem. They are considered to cause the skin cancer in children. Then they are small enough to be absorbed by the crop plants in the irrigated fields. Then they are often found to be used as a food adulterants. Now out of this four, the very first option that is they are considered as a harmful for the marine ecosystem is the right answer because these microbeads are made up of the plastics and these plastics are quite harmful for the marine ecosystem. So for this particular question, the option number one is the right answer. Now consider this next question. Among the following, which one is the largest exporter of rice in the world in the last five years? That is, you have to find in the last five years, which country is the largest exporter of the rice? The straight answer of this question is uh, India because India since the last five years is the largest exporter of the rice. So the answer for this question is uh, option number B. Now the next question is about the remote sensing. For the measurement and estimation of which of the following are the satellite images or remote sensing data is used. That is how, what is the application of satellite image plus remote sensing in order to measure or estimate of the following. See the option, the chlorophyll content of the vegetation of a specific location, then greenhouse gas emission from the rice paddies of a specific location, then land surface temperature of the specific location. So the very first statement, which is the chlorophyll content of the vegetation of a specific location. So 
this statement is right because the remote sensing is quite used for the in order to estimate the chlorophyll content for the particular vegetation then the greenhouse emission gases were also estimated by using the satellite images and the remote sensing and the third statement that is the land surface temperature is also measured by using these techniques so all these three are the correct statements that is option number d that is one two and three is the correct answer for this particular question now consider the next question it is about the environment protection act of 1986 the environment protection act of 1986 empowers the government of india to the very first statement is the statement the state requirement of a public participation in the process of environment protection and the procedure and the manner in which it served. Then the second statement is laid down the standards for the emission or discharge of the environmental pollutants from the various sources. So out of these two, two statements, only the second statement is stands true and that is why the option number B, that is two only, is the right answer for this particular question. The next question we have here about, is about the Agastamala Biosphere Reserve. Now they asked which of the following are in the Augusta Mela Biosphere Reserve. That is which of the following places are included in the Augusta Mela Biosphere Reserve. The very first option that is the Nayar, Pepera and Sindurni Wildlife Sanctuary and Kalakkad Mundanthurai Tiger Reserve. All these places are included in the Augusta Mela Biosphere Reserve. So the option number one is the right answer for this particular question. So all these are questions which are relating with the botany subject which forms the part of UPSC preliminary examination of 2019. I hope you like this lecture. Please like the video. Please share this video with your friends who are studying botany. And if you have any doubt, please make sure to comment in the comment box. And if you haven't subscribed to the Botany Option channel yet, please subscribe to Botany Option channel for UPSC examination. Again, thank you very much for watching this video. See you in the next one.